Yeah, you feel it. Like Hi guys, Jake here from Afro TV. Hi guys, Darren. Welcome to our humble <laughs> Afro TV headquarters. So in this video, while well, Darren is setting up our lighting, state of the art lighting, state of the art lighting. Mm -hmm. um, in this video, we will be assembling these. What are these? Well, we really wanted to buy like a Canon beach buggies, June buggies. Yeah. Uh, we don't have budget for that, do we? No, mm -hmm. you gotta start somewhere. So, Darren, what are these? Well, these are off-road dune buggies, we hope, that are quite cheap, that you kind yep. of build yourself. They, uh, they come in a box. Let's see what's in there. Alright. That has wheels. Engine. Is there one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, why don't you put this together? A go kart in a box. Go kart in a box. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. So, first step, we'll unbox everything and lay it out here. So, um, these are all the parts for two, two of our cars. Um, now we need to figure out how to assemble it. So, wish us luck. And I lost my head somewhere. Let's do this! think I think they're awesome look oh, at that look at that we did that we made that with <laughs> these hands it was uh, it wasn't too bad a few tricky bits but we got there in the it's end. very satisfying yeah because um, it's like it quickly becomes a thing and you quickly feel like you've done something yeah once we got the wheels on and a couple of the bits it was like oh yeah all right now we well, want to just start it let's see if they start up because that would be a sort of a good <laughs> thing to try that would be good. Uh, we do have oil in them, we do have a fuel in them, and they do come, uh, the engine comes pre-assembled, um, they come pre-filled with oil, and they come all set up, uh, brakes are set up, throttle uh, response is set up, so theoretically, we will not crash into anything. They should just run and work straight from the box, so let's, let's see. Let's see what happens. On. On, yes. Check. Are you on? Yeah, come on. Red one. On. Red one. On. Yes, check. Um, black lever all the way back. All the way back towards all, all you or all, all, all the way forward? Yeah, yeah got that. Um, grey one. Yeah. Sort of in the middle. Yeah. So first one you do like three pumps. Yeah. And then you just give it a little bit of squirting as you do this. Now if you put too much squirting it will start going. So don't squirt too much. Mine died! Oh really? Oh. Mine died. What did you do? I think I ran out of petrol. <laughs> it helps if you guys have fuel.
All right, guys. That works. Uh, the alarm here works as well. Oopsie. Time to take it to Lancelin. Darren, what happened? You hit a room, mate. The winch is a little bit touching. There's some cable hanging there and uh, the radar is fine. It's underneath. Uh, but yeah, that's like the least amount of damage after hitting kangaroo at a speed this size kangaroo that I've seen. You were lucky, man. Mate, like hitting this with a plastic bumper, that kangaroo is in the engine. Yeah, it's on the bonnet. Through the windscreen. Well, we'll keep heading. We are about what two kilometers from the beach. Yeah. We'll see you there. We made it to the beach. <laughs> we did. There's the ocean. Ta-da! Smells good. It does. So we didn't quite make it here during the day, so we can't really take the go-karts for a spin. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, now we need to get to the camp, which is that way, into the dark. Mm -hmm. no, no, we've got enough light. We do have a few lights. Darren is fixing his halo. That's annoying. That doesn't work. Works. Doesn't work. Oh well. Let's go to the camp. Oh look at that. What a view. Woo! Are they still there? They didn't fly off. Very impressed. Yeah, so we didn't make it here on time, but hey, we are here. We are the ocean. Now we're just gonna head to the camp. We'll see you there. All right, quick update. Uh, we made it to pretty much our campsite. Uh, the track doesn't look too bad. Uh, this sand dune keeps coming further in and in, so it's making it a little bit more challenging every single time we're here. But it should be all right. Let's see how the trailer goes. Um, there, you can go. Copy, copy. Wait up. Wait for me. Wait. Hello, an angle. Yeah, it's good. Darren's trailer seems to be peeing. <laughs> All right, Darren, where are we? Oh, we are at Wangaran campsite number nine, and I have to say it's bloody good. That is actually very true. There is ocean right there. There's the sea. Can you see that? Oh yeah, there is ocean right there. We are right here. We've got we got these ready for tomorrow. Oh yeah. What do you reckon? What time are we getting up? Six. Yeah. I reckon. <laughs> we got a we, lot to do. We got a lot to dream about and oh man look at that it's already dirty. It hasn't even been off road yet. Got, well it has. It's been over rocky outcrops and through beaches and everything. That is true. But uh yeah so this is our humble board for tonight. Uh, we've got our party we got our party trailer here already with set. them party lights. Eco X gear sound extreme 26 um bluetooth speaker shameless plug but guys this thing is bloody epic so if you want to party at a campsite that's what you want away so we can put it back on look at this Whoa. guy flying out 
What the hell is that? I don't know, but it's gonna bite you. Is it? Oh, for sure. Piss off. <laughs> yeah, wuss. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll switch to red now. That way the bugs won't bite us. And mm. uh, also a can of. What's it called? Bushman. Oh, yeah, we've got a giant sized can. Look, we are not sponsored by Bushman, but if you want something that really works, go Bushman, the green one. It, it's, yeah, it works. That thing, I swear by. Uh, bees don't care, but everything else will just fly away. Mm. Like that guy. These flying hand things are, yeah. If someone knows what this is, let us know in the comments. They're everywhere. It's like a bloody... They love the yellow light. Yeah, they do. Look at that, this one's like having fun on the yellow light there. This guy is really enjoying the yellow light. I don't know if yellow lights are not supposed to attract bugs, but these guys love it. Let us know. They sort of look like bull ants with wings, but they don't bite. They don't, well. they don't have anything to bite with. They've got like whiskers in the front. But yeah, so. hey, If anyone knows what this is, let us know, because this campsite is full of them. Well, this is no bees, actually. That's because it's dark. That is true. This campsite, a couple months ago, literally swarms of bees. Hey Jake, why is your uh, bonnet open? Why is my bonnet open? That is a very good question. And here is why. This is my... Ah, oh, it's too much light. This is why. This is my super advanced... Ah, oh, there you go. This is my super advanced circuit breaker that is breaking the circuit right now. Mm. Um, as you can see, it no, lo no longer has any parts on it uh, because it melted. It just gets too hot under the bonnet and these cheap ones just can't handle it. You don't have much luck with your electrics, are you? When it cools down, when this cools down, <laughs> you can actually hit it with a finger and it will clip back in. Um, once don't try that at home. Once it cools down, there's a shed load of heat coming off this thing. Yeah, this thing, this thing produces a lot of heat. I mean, it is a V8. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a, a, a fat one, so yeah, it makes a lot of heat. Um, oh yeah, you hit a kangaroo. I forgot about that. That is true. Let's see how that looks like. Just a bit of a. Let's look what they've done to your number plate. Oh. Hey. Yeah, I mean, I'm sad. I don't like hitting animals, but no, it sucks. It but does. you also killed a parrot today. Oh no, that wasn't you. No, there was a pile of them. But look, guys, this happens. If you do hit a kangaroo, um, that's just life in Australia. But make sure you hit it with solid metal, and you did not plastic. You did all the right things, mate. You didn't swerve. You, you just you just hit it. Yeah, so that's probably a good tip, isn't it? Like, what do you do if a kangaroo jumps right in front of your car? Well, your natural instinct is just to like slam on the anchors or swerve. But in all likelihood, by doing that or swerving, you're going to probably crash. So yeah, the, the message is you're supposed to just hit them. That is very true. We do not support injuring animals, but if it comes to kangaroo or your family... Well, especially when you're um, towing and things like that. I mean, if you oh, yeah. swerve with a trailer on the back or a caravan, you're gonna, you're gonna topple it over. Oh yeah, so that's one thing. Also, if you're following each other at night, make sure you keep gaps because if one needs to slam on the brakes, uh, you don't want to run in the back of them. Yeah, I was probably a little bit close to you tonight, but... Yeah, we were on the radio, so I was able to call mm. it out as I was braking, so it was good, but... Yeah, yeah anyways, uh, this is our campsite for tonight. Catch you guys in the morning. We'll take the helmet carts out onto the beach. See how they do. Can they even go on the beach? No idea. 